was searching for a scope for this rifle. Um, I was looking for something a little bit period if I could, because I, I put a couple of scopes on it and it, they looked really odd. It was a high tech scope. And I remembered I had this old girl. It's a Pekar, Germany, Berlin, Champion 8x52. Um, I used to work for Met Police as an armourer in, um, in the early 80s and on our district sniping rifles we had Pekars and they were a good scope, they were nothing too exciting. And this came with a little 2-2 Magnum Lee reaction I bought off an ex-gamekeeper and it just came with a rifle, I wasn't looking at it and I just kept the scope. And um, I thought this looks quite period and also if you, ha you do need high mounts otherwise you have to remove the rear sight and scope mounting gets awkward. And uh, I had a set of um, 30 mil rings. This is the, um, the, the German, I think it's 25.6 body. It's fractionally over an inch body, literally fractionally. And so I put it in a set of adapters. It looks a little bit Heath Robinson, but it clips on, goes into the, um, the slots nicely. You just wind the claws in. This is that in the German scope mount, oddly enough. And that's it on. Um, as you can see, it clears the rear sight. Um, it's just got a plain dual edge reticle, medium thick. Um, so it's not exactly giving its best in terms of, um, you know, reticle on target. But if it can pull an inch, then it's doing its job. Interestingly enough, uh, this scope is f uh, 40 years old. I spoke to the guy I bought it off and he said he got it in, I think, 1981. So this has been bumming around for 40 years. It's not particularly exciting scope. You know, it's got a, a lock ring focus, um, very, very basic, but I quite like the look of it. It's got that sort of 1900, early 20th century look about it, which seems to, to a degree suit the Courtney quite well. Okay, there it is, but uh, it's amazing what you find. It's, it was a nice little windfall, this, and uh, I had a feeling it was gonna be a good one, and it certainly was.